is break down the forces pushing forward into approximately three areas. Demand, the products and services that are going to run over that network, and the competition and the marketplace for those, uh, for those services. In particular, we believe that at least by 2015, if not before, more than half of all internet traffic will be video. When I talk about NBN networks, national broadband networks, there are, I think, about four ways in which you can determine whether it is a national broadband network or not. And probably the one to start with is, is the government involved? If you need to uh, do 100% coverage, you will probably have mixed technologies. You will probably continue to deploy uh, your ADSL and your cable to get value out of it. You will probably have part of your portfolio is 3G, 4G mobile for those rural areas and more difficult places, and even satellite. Large scale, obviously, but behind the large scale is an inclusion. It is implicitly everybody in the country should be a part of the MBN. That's a really important point, because if you're going to deliver all of those goals about social inclusion, then it has to be for everyone. It can't just be the cities and the people who can afford it. And the last one is more subtle, but very important. It has to be open access. It has to be a network where people can come along and offer services across it without needing to build out their own infrastructure. This is just a quick a world view of all the various networks that are going on. As you see, there's, it's all around the world, big countries, small countries. Um, people are getting on with this, and there's more being announced all the time. There's over 30 countries so far with what I would call to be a genuine NBN. One of the key selling points of an NBN is they talk about the increase in GDP. They put it directly into monetary terms, a benefit to the, to the whole economy. But it is true, everybody that, that analyzes this comes up with some figure for the improvement of the economy of the country from deployment of fast broadband. All the advantages of MBN, uh, we've talked about the economic ones. We know that it will be an inclusive network, so it, it will bridging digital divide. It's going to provide all these wonderful services about e-health and so on. So this, these kind of uh, lists, you see them in various forms. This is another state restatement of the Millennium Development Goals, in fact. One of the things that we have noticed when we have deployed MBNs is we see a maturity curve from services and users. When people deploy first a faster connection, the first thing that happens is they generally get into TV-related services. They have IPTV, they stream more video, and they use their PC a lot more. What happens next is they become more sophisticated users. They get smart TVs. They start having multiple televisions. They, they want to use their tablets, their iPhones, the so-called fourth screen. They're using services that cross between devices. And they're into a much more enhanced home domestic environment. The full maturity, though, comes from not just making your home a lot more comfortable, but from deploying uh, societal-wide services. At the bottom, then, we have the MBN, which we know is the fiber and the switching. And that should be on an open access basis. That is the best way to do it. That's what I would recommend you do. Above that, that's where the really interesting layer is. Once you have your physical infrastructure and your network in place, all of the real innovation is going to occur in your service provider layers. And that's where, uh, that's where you see the most benefit, in fact, long term, because of the rich set of services that you can offer. And this is just really a restatement of that. The cloud, the network, providing all the services, they're transiting over the fiber network, providing to the users in their home. What the fiber system is doing is really extending the benefits of high-speed internet all the way right to your home. And so now you can have direct delivery of the best internet services that you want, or 100 megabits, one gigabit, whatever you need, can be provided by fiber. The key point about this is that by plugging directly into the internet like that, the, F, uh, the FTTH network, the MBN network, 
provides a service innovation platform that's un unparalleled. It's the, it is the most exciting part of the, all of this, is all the services that you can then deliver over it. <laughs>